all right ladies and gentlemen traders guys hit that thumbs up yes hit the thumbs up before you even watch the video that's how we're coming today guys today is our second green day in a row after a long red streak we are proud of this day it's another good day another good stride another good step in the right direction and you know i wanted i want to let it be known here to the community that you know day trading is not easy man you know at times it can seem easy you know myself some of the other guys in the community we can make it look easy but it never is easy it's hard it's always tricky it's difficult and that's how we expect it to be being that it's a field you know that is extraordinary so we always look forward to the opportunity we look to improve and we look to progress now with that being said if you're someone who is going through a tough time a tough period you know keep the focus you know there is no wall too tall there is no mountain too high we have to endure and we have to improve we have to actively find ways to be better and in doing this we can really rise up so remember to keep on keeping on all right you know it's been a long time since i've had four red days in a row and a red week and so you know no one is is you know superman and invincible we're all vulnerable whether it's to our emotions or something else you know so if we're if we're in this field you know we got to stick together and we got to keep pushing with that being said quick disclaimer remember first I do not invest money for my subscribers, guys. Be careful of fake accounts and people talking about mirror trading and copy trading. I do not do those things. Be very careful out there. A lot of fake, relentless trader pages and accounts. We continue to report, ban, and block them from the community, but they create new fake accounts and rejoin and and you know on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere discord TikTok, guys i will never message you first remember that i do not message anyone first people are messaging me all right in the discord pay attention for the green icon and green name and in other uh platforms pay attention for the blue check so in discord for example you guys will see me here with a big green name in the upper right hand corner or even if i send a message you know it'll have a green name tied to it here so you guys can find me in the main chats for those people who are new who are coming in from mmu or any other source you know you guys can go through the the steps here there's the welcome channel there's a uh, mmu support and so forth and so forth as you go down all right remember uh the rules remember to be careful remember to pay attention mmu support this is where you guys can find marcelo and myself right here all right do not pay for the chat room if you are an mmu student all right guys so with that being said remember trading in itself is risky it has its pros and its cons it's risky business and on top of that uh the live streams and recaps are not an invitation to copy trade i know that's a little lengthy but it does matter all right day trading is so risky that i put out a video talking about me losing 300 grand and it's not clickbait you know to make the money that i've had I've, I've been able to make this year i've made about four hundred thousand and lost about three hundred thousand net green 100k you know retaining about 25 percent of the gains it's not easy so that being said let's talk a little bit about przo this was the stock of the day as you guys will see i'm up 160 not a, not a crazy amount you know I'm watching it here into the open and I'm hoping we can see a nice move and trend to the upside. So initially we got a high of 226 and a low of 207. And it's in this range and I'm watching and I'm just getting chopped up, man. Could not get a good gauge on it with the price action. And you can see here, it attempts to make the new high. It slams back down. I attempted to buy the dip at the lows here. It rips down lower. I'm like, man, this thing is all over the place. 
So initially I ease off. I did try right here as well. I could not get the one minute candle to make the new high despite it looked like this candle going straight up. What happened, it got up here, dropped back down a little, and then ripped up. And so in the in the in the small drop, I got chopped out and then it, it goes without me. So you know, I'm like, I'm gonna ease off. I'm glad I did because it, it's gonna try one more time, fails miserably. And from here is where it does this huge rat to green all along this area. I'm trading another stock. And that stock was uh, HUBC, which wasn't a bad stock, by the way, right? And just for uh, relevancy and synchronization, it's, it's, it's synchronized. I don't even know how to say the word. Um, PRCO, let's go back to that time frame. This is between 10.04. And let's say about 10, 11. In between this time, I'm watching at this one. 10, 04. Yeah, right here, if we're curling back up for high. So we have highs of 44. It's pulled back and then started to push up nicely. I, I did off, I did awful on this stock. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I should have been green like 300 here minimum. Um, there was a couple of things. Right, so I'm looking at this stock. There's a couple of things that that didn't go well. I missed some of these dips. I want to say I can't remember if it was this one in particular, but you know, some of these lower pullback areas I missed. Looking away at other stocks in the in key areas, and those entries would have been huge entries to help push me up where I needed to be. On top of that. In this area, I took an aggressive short position and ended up getting chopped out of the trade. You know, it's one of those days for me where it's great idea, but not so good execution, and, you know, along the way. Like my thought process is correct in terms of the trade idea and what should happen, but not executing very well, despite having the good intuition. Again, looking away at key dips shorting here and you know i think you know i could have been a little bit more attentive aware and patient for the short trade it was more so you know an area where i, I did notice okay we're pushing up but we're not pushing up as well as i would like us to to the long side i think this thing needs a pullback i go short and you know it, it's it's just too i want to say too sudden of a trade like I, I didn't really think about it. It feels like it was an impulse kind of a trade, right? Is what I'm trying to say. Like the 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 plan wasn't really there. It was more so like, okay, there's a little bit of weakness in level two. Let me just go short, rather than me, more, you know, being a, more aware of what where I would like to stop out, how much room I want to give it, you know, how much time, like all these other factors that can come into play when I'm looking at a setup, right? How much size I want to take. I just kind of saw this and I was like, oh, time to go short. And I'm in on one of my bigger order entry windows. I'm in with bigger size. Just stuff that, you know, could have been done better, right? To give myself more of a chance at improving, well, not improving, but, you know, at, at, at consistency here. Anyhow, that was HUBC. It ended up opening up way more than this. You know, I kind of traded it in throughout here. Uh, once we got back over high of day, I wanted to talk about this trade here. So I ended up giving this prolonged, you know, W. And we had higher lows. Guys, there's money to be made without a doubt. You know, it, it, whether it's the longer term or shorter term. If you're watching this, uh, this entry here, I think is one of the best entry. It's this one here. So this bit of a W kind of comes in. And okay, we got a double top. All right, we got highs here and highs here. All right, look at what it does once it gets over the level. It pulls back into that double top and it holds tightly. This right here is gold. This is liquid gold. Liquid gold. This is like gold. You know, that's being mined, just getting thrown into your hand in the, in, the, in the version of dollar bills. Money. 
this tray here is money. It holds up the previous resistance. This is my favorite entry, really. And, and look at how it moves up, you know. But the question for me would have been, would I have took profits here? We had a high of 49. I probably would have took profits at the high right here in this area thinking, hey, this is a good trade. But for people who, who will hold longer and was looking to give it more time, it absolutely took off, man. Pulled back, we had a low. Risking off that low initially, this is going to work here for the new high. And it doesn't work so well the second time. We make a new low, but we do get back above the level after some nice higher lows here. And from there, it continued. 64. You know, again, it pulled back into the same area. You know, around this time, I was making the monthly recap and watching some news on the conflict in Israel. You know, I mean, just not to get off topic, but just, I mean, this stuff is so sad, man. I feel like wars were for the time when, you know, things were more chaotic and barbaric. Less structure, less government, or a lesser version of government. But it, it seems like this constant of, like, you know, the majority, I don't think, want these things. But, like, there's certain, you know, interests whether it's for money or, or power. And there's also emotions. You know, and these type of things could come back to the market too in some ways, right? There's emotions involved and rational thinking goes out the window and people are ready to die for something that should be able to be resolved with great communication. It's quite tragic what's going on whether Russia, Ukraine, um, Israel, and, 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 you know, Palestine, or, or uh, even like the USA and, uh, you know, Iraq, and even like when it comes to the, to, the, to the side of it, when it comes to the proxy and backing certain countries, and it's just so messy, man. I mean, you would love to think these things shouldn't happen, but, you know, again, not to get too distracted there, but, you know, this stock continued and pushed up to 80 cents. We should have been green at least 300 here in this beginning area. Much less if we're to be watching here, we should have added to the gate. And this is how, you know, someone who is here, you know, being patient through all the rest of the day can add to the games. Uh, you know, if you're doing other stuff like I am, you will miss some of these opportunities. So coming back to PRZO, we, you know, we left off here where it was curling up. So I did miss, unfortunately, this beautiful entry, this beautiful flag that just, you know, from 220 to 240, beautiful move. I came during the consolidation here. I was red about uh, 150, got myself green to about, you know, 150 after the end of this chop. So we've made money in this consolidation. But I do my best when stocks are going up. And luckily, we avoid this nasty drop, man. This was brutal, guys. Anybody that got caught in this, you know, there's only one thing you can do is stop out and just take the loss. Because a lot of times, we don't, you know, I'm surprised, it's bounced back up. Other days, it's like this. You know, we wish we sold. We wish we would have sold. You know, other days, it's, it's, it's like this. We just wish we got out there. You know, it's terrible. Terrible. Anyhow, it holds up, curls sideways. And this is another breakout of breakouts, man. And, you know, I'm watching it here at smaller size. I'm like, okay, I don't want to, like, you know, risk too much, but I'm going to keep watching. And I'm in at the very beginning of this candle. And I'm out too soon. You know, man, I literally needed to be in for another two or three seconds. And this thing just is expectations. You know, multiple times we're here, we reject this level. Part of me knows a big move can happen, but I also didn't expect it to happen in the way it did. I, I thought it would have went, you know, let's say rip from 40 to 50, quick dip, you know, maybe push through 55, quick dip back to 50, and then rip to 60, and then 65, 70. It was like, hey, you better have been in between 30 and 44 because... If not, well, the moment it got to 44, we just saw 68. 
75, 86, all within one second. And people are taking profits into the highs. I was hoping this pullback could have held up. I did give back, trying to buy this area here. Gave back some. It just wasn't holding, man. I tried again later into the day. And then that was it here. Decent move, but wasn't able to continue. So, you know, we're small green. 150, oh, 140, 146. Yeah, 150. Um, not a crazy day. Again, two small green days, 200, now 140. You know, it's a step in the right direction from the big red that we were seeing. And, you know, right now, all we're doing is like just waiting for something to give us a little bit more range and we'll be good to go. And also, you know, timing and stocks, like so sometimes these areas like this, you know, they're really huge on days where the opportunities are limited and far apart. Capturing this is like a game changer on the day. Even if I'm in with just 1500, this move alone is 300 bucks. This move here is like 400 bucks with just 1500. So if I'm in 2500, it's about set six, seven hundred dollars. But the only bad thing is like it only happens twice throughout the day, you know. So some people they might have captured it, maybe they're up, you know, one, two, three, four K, depending on the size, right? And again, if they also was able to work some of these choppy areas, if you're able to work these first couple of minutes and get something out of it, yeah, you know. But these areas where you can really get like the bigger, bigger gains quickly, so. You know, it's kind of how it's going to go. And some people, if they're caught here or here, you know, this is this is really 50-50 sometimes, man. Because if you're caught here on these two candles, like bigger size, you know, and you miss these type of moves here, it's rough to get back green. You know, so big red, big red, big green, big green, big green. And then, you know, some bigger red wicks in some of these areas here before a bounce. Tricky stuff, you know, we're looking forward to some better price action, but we're going to continue to be patient. For me, I don't mind grinding it out in small numbers. Uh, the moment something, the moment the fire turns on again, man, we're going to feel it and we're going to be shining so bright. Guys, hit that thumbs up. Check out those links down below for MMU, the day trading course that I have. Check out those links. Also, take a look at um, Momo Pro, which is the scanner that I use. For those of you who do not want to, uh, you know, pay for Momo Pro separately, pay for the chat room separately, the gold membership does include everything. We have scanners in there. We got the Momo, Momo Pro scanners, hot levels, um, the live stream, everything, right? No delay, no delay. The YouTube live stream has a delay. Discord has no delay, all right? So feel free to uh, check out MMU Gold. You can do three months. Right, there's an option for three months or annually, aka yearly. Check it out. It's been Relentless Trader, guys. Quick recap here. 18 minutes. Jeez. Okay, yeah, we gotta get up. <laughs> gotta go. Stay safe, stay green. Catch you guys later.